What's going on, nerds? Welcome back to Knuckles Family and Friend Podcast. Talk once again talk here, talking about one division. And I got the crew with me once again. I have the Japanese encyclopedia, Derek, the, uh, the artist, Anthony, and the cosplayer, Rachel. And before we get into one division, I do want, um, Rachel, I know you just um, you just started your blog, so I want you to know, talk about your blog a little bit before we, you know, we get into uh, uh, the main, uh, ap- main appetizer, of course. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, uh, it literally just started, so there's not much on there yet, but um, it's cosplayerjourney.com. It's literally just me going as I go. Uh, Whenever I learn something new or try something new, building my cosplays and showing you even when I fuck up because sometimes shit happens and nothing is ever as easy as other people's tutorials make it look. So (laughs) whatever I find works, whatever I find that doesn't work, I'll be like, hey, this is what I did. This is how bad I did. So uh, (laughs) learn from it. Just keep it it real. Yeah, don't waste money like I did. So uh, learn from my mistakes and uh, any tips, any tricks. Hopefully when cons start coming back, you know, I have some articles planned out about, you know, surviving your first con and what not to do at a con, what to do. So I have things planned for when life turns back to normal, but for now it's slowly building. That's lit. That's fun. They're like pros and cons of the shit. Uh, I saw somebody using a 3D printer to make their cosplay stuff. That was awesome. Yeah. There's so many people using 3D, 3D printers to get like super detailed stuff now. And I'm like, one day yeah. I'll get there. One day when I have the money and I pay to like use all the software and like make it work without wasting all my money on the plastic and stuff. <laughs> but um, they're, starting to, they're starting to get a little cheaper. A friend of mine just bought one. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm broke. Yeah, I'd have to figure out what to like use it for though, other than like full on props because some people are using it for like huge stuff and i'm like i wonder how much that costs and just plastic alone but um i saw a dude build a body kit for his car with a 3d printer that that blew that's me away. insane i want to um if i buy one i want to use it to make my merch mm. <laughs> all right that'll be lit wait before we, before hey, we how start much money people make uh selling uh 3d printed stuff on etsy and stuff it's like insane. Wait, how, how much is a 3d printer I don't even know. Like, I honestly haven't even looked into it, but I know that it's like huge in cosplay now that like everyone's just using it. I'll send you some links, Rob. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'll put the, I'll, so I'll put the link in the description box and like here on Anchor and YouTube and on Facebook for, you know, for people to follow you on that. So I got you. Thanks. So, so we're going to talk about episode seven of WandaVision. Now I'm going to just start off by saying this episode was eh. The ending was the best part for me. But this episode was just eh. I mean, we finally see who the villain is. <laughs> That's about it. Other than that, though, I was on the most of the other part. Just, I'm just like, oh, okay. Like, I'm happy it went the modern family and office route because you know I'm a, I'm a big modern family modern, uh, modern family fan. And the office I like, but I wasn't a big fan of. But I thought, like I said, this episode was just eh. And it was best part. Everything was just like too slow for me. I'm like, okay, what was the point of this? What was the point of that? Like, huh? Okay. And then, great. Other, everything else? Yeah. That's all I can really say. <laughs> Anyone want to chime in? I'll just say, just yeah, I kind of agree on that because, like, honestly, other than her reveal at the end, which everyone guessed and knew anyway, yeah. it was kind of just like nothing really happened. So, like, I honestly, other than, like, Vision being with Darcy in the yeah. van and wanda having stuff glitch around her i'm like what actually happened in this episode <laughs> yeah. well before before anyone adds in i just want to say whoever who said these last episodes are going to be an hour you're a big ass liar i don't know i posted mm-hmm. i have shit on facebook what happened to the hour a long episode i see 31 minutes that's not an hour that's 30 that's 30 minutes so liar they definitely lie I, 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 who's the manager? I'm gonna go Karen on her ass right now. Who the fuck said that shit? Where's well, the did uh did Marvel actually say that? Was that just like some random person posting that online? I think it was some random person posting that. Honestly, well, true. fake news. Fake news. Yep, yeah. we I fell to the trap. <laughs> fell to because it, it just it just seemed like why would they want to lie about that? You know what I'm saying? But you know, it was a lie. But may, hell, maybe they need an hour because. Like I said, this episode was just eh. Maybe they had an hour episode, it would have been better, honestly. 
that's just my thing. Yeah, there was a lot of stuff that just didn't make sense. Like the like the whole scene with Monica, like trying to get through the portal. Like, what was the whole point, purpose of using that big ass tank and like saying like this is gonna work? She's getting in like an asteroid, and then like <laughs> she gets like stopped like dead in her tracks, and, and then the, walk, and then runs and it. then and then just walks in and she like gets and then she she aborts mission. And then she's like, I can make it through. Like, what, right. what does that mean? Like, how do you know you can make it through? Right. And then, like, yeah, I mean, I get it. Like, it was, like, someone, like, the birth of, like, her powers, I guess. Um, it, I don't know if she had the powers before that, but. Basically, I feel like her running through Wanda's hex, like, jump started her powers like she already had them due to the x-rays they said she was uh that they administered on her and like oh we can't see your blood and this this and that yeah. basically they were just using that as a leaping off point that was their little ex ex machina just an unexplained event like her and wanda fighting that was just to hype it up honestly yeah the agatha showing up was the only thing i was there for i was there singing the song for like Two hours. Yo, and Anthony was like, "Wait, wait, wait. Let, 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 let me quote this." And what Anthony? Uh, what, and what Anthony texted me about you reacting to that? He said, um, "I knew it." And Derek is busting a nut. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ooh, ooh, I knew it. <laughs> but- Oh uh, yeah, straight up. It was the first thing I was like, "Oh yeah, he, it's over." <laughs> there, losing it. But, yeah. but no, but but the thing about it is like, so I didn't really know like it was her. It was really her name was Agatha. Mm. But I did um, back in like the early episodes when um, there's one scene when she's with the guy, uh, the black guy uh, um, next to the fence, and they're yeah. talking, and it was like the awkward moment. Mm. She has a necklace on that I noticed. Like and it looked like a witch, um, like kind of a necklace. And I was gonna bring it up in our our podcast, but I, I didn't say anything about it. And it literally was like a significant like relic that you know basically gave it away, um, in that scene. Um, but I was like, damn, that's like pretty cool that they kind of threw that in there, and like people like really wouldn't notice it unless you're really paying attention. Yeah, definitely. They the new episode also did something with uh Nexus. Did you uh, notice that? Yeah, that. basically, they always say that Wanda's like a Nexus being, and oh, due to your emotions, like the Nexus can alter reality and shit like that. So I was like, oh, they're tying it in. Well, I mean, my other question is now is like, okay, so what's Agnetha's uh plan? Like, what is she here for? Because I can only predict that um, Wanda made the world. The people, was that Agnes is doing? Did she bring the people in there? Because back to episode five it was when the guy was like, she's in my head. I was clearly, it was clearly all Ag- uh, Agnes. That was in everyone's heads. So is she trying to understand Wanda's parents? Because we saw her creating Pietro. And Pietro was saying, so how would you do it? So I don't know if, you know, I think that when she, when he asked that, that was suddenly really Agnes asking that question. So is she trying to understand Wanda's powers, gain her powers? And also, you know, remember in the interview um, when, Juan, when Wanda was talking to the cameraman, cameraman said, is, do you think it's because of what you, is what you deserve? So it's like, this is like a theory. Did Wanda do something in her past to hurt, you know, Agnes, Agnes feelings? Because like, what did uh, what did she do to deserve this? So, did they have any past? Because she said it's nice to finally meet you. So, Agnes has, has been watching Wanda for a while. So, I'm hoping in the next episode they kind of explain, okay, what her origin story is, where she came from, how long has she been around? Like, she has been watching for like ever, ever. So, that's my you know my question and thoughts on that. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, in in the comic book, Agatha's been around for several hundred years. I'm pretty yeah. sure she was around. <laughs> During the Salem witch trials and all that shit. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is going to tie into the next Doctor Strange movie like we all know it's going to yeah. because Agnes has that book in her basement and that book belongs to Mephesto. 
Yeah, so, so she cleared. Yeah, so like when I saw her, the, the kids going with Edison, I'm like, okay, she's either kind of send them back to where they originally came from. So I think we all predicted that. But, you know, I still want to know like what her end game is. Is she trying to bring Mephisto? Because she was trying to prevent Mephisto in the comics. Well, not prevent it, but like, you know. Let's see. Uh, the MCU. They're not gonna follow it to the T. So yeah, they're not. Maybe she needs the boys for something. Maybe she wants Wanda to join her. But I think, I think the kids probably complicated things for her. I don't know. We'll have to see once again because I, I, I'm genuinely interested. I want to wait until this next episode to really say well, say my piece. Right now, I'm just glad that. You know, all right, now she showed herself. Like, what's next? Mm-hmm. Rachel, yeah, there? And I'm, I'm coming, and I'm, and I'm like curious. Yeah, I'm, and I'm like curious, like, where the kids went. Yeah, they went somewhere. Yeah. But no, not to cut your ass off. I, I know, Rachel, I didn't, you, you didn't get your chance mm-hmm. to chime in to what we talked about just now. So I'm get your take on it. Uh, I, I don't even know right now, because, like, I don't know too much about Agatha from the comics and, like, her whole storyline, other than, like, the quick like wiki read that I did <laughs> um, so like I don't really know where the story could go or like what they're trying to base this fully off of all I know is that people kept like pointing out something about a plant that like oh <laughs> that's why she killed the dog and like yeah and I killed Sparky and that's why... too I love that that was, that was the yeah. best part that was the best like, part like what does the plant do like what it do just like give her like visions of the future or something like what was the whole point of that thing? yes and it apparently causes grief they mm-hmm. think that that's what quick remember that's what quick server said to her i i you know up at your front door you know stir up things between you and the brother-in-law and ultimately give you grief mm. i was like huh i'm like that I, I think sparky was probably digging up the flowers and those flowers are important more so i killed sparky too because all i kept reading was that something about like in a comic she had her cat she killed her cat because apparently like you have to eat the thing that ate the plant and i'm like what (laughs) well if you eat the plant you apparently get visions from the future Mm. but apparently it causes grief weird immense Um, i don't know and then the other slight important part because I think Aaron was just talking about the ending, but I think the other slight important part was um, <clears throat> how Wu and Monica found out that Mr. Dick uh, was trying to reactivate Vision, but he couldn't. It was only Wanda that did. So he wanted to use him as a weapon, clearly. Yeah. So um, <clears throat> that answered that. So all he just wants is Vision. I don't think he gets shit about anybody else. I think he just wants Vision, but he doesn't know how to activate nope. it. But I still want to know, how the fuck did you guys, how did you get Vision? Like, how did you get it from the Avengers? Because clearly they had his body. I said, it, Not you. I, I said it. I said it before. After the events of Infinity War, when Thanos snapped, he snapped half of the people away. So maybe S.H.I.E.L.D. got him the first time. But in the midst of those five years, S.W.O.R.D. got him. And they wanted to experiment. S.W.O.R.D. and S.H.I.E.L.D. are the same companies, essentially. It's just that one's less hydra enforced because you know uh shield was basically formed with the remnants of some of their people too well you did see the dead body with you know cap and the others so when they realized everything was gone so i'm just wondering like they had to keep it in a very secret place the, how to have, to have someone take it is terrible supervision in my opinion maybe maybe tony stark was responsible maybe he was like let's send them here and do about it in those past five years something happened you know they're gonna tie that in you know they're gonna tie those loose things in. but do we do we have more questions now or some more questions answered because we have two episodes left and we, we yeah, well, I think we all talk about how we don't want everything just delivered to us in one episode you gotta break it down so like you have two episodes left so it's like do you have enough time you know carefully explain what's going on or do you really have to make these last two episodes an hour long because for, for a half hour I just don't think it's going to be enough to, like, you know, reveal a whole lot of things in, for these next episodes. If, if it is a half hour for both the final episodes. I'm just wondering if they're going to, how much they're actually going to, like, 
reveal versus leave as like a cliffhanger because like maybe it's just this is just like an interlude like going into like the whole setting up the whole Doctor Strange movie so maybe they're like all the answers will the rest of the answer will be like solved in his thing it's just like making you wait for that it's setting that up so they're probably not gonna like give you all the answers as they wrap up this show they're probably just gonna be like we'll give you enough to like they they satisfy a little bit they might not but they've been hyping this ending up so bad so it's like uh, yeah to your point to not have everything answered that's fine but like i still want this ending to be like oh my god holy shit like i literally want the ending to be like after i've done watching i text guys i'd be like yo what the fuck like that's how i want to feel like after this ending like maybe i'm hyping myself way too much but like when you hype something up, I expect you to, to deliver. So, Marvel, like, I didn't want to be like, like, waiting for you. I'd be like, oh my god, oh my god. Like, I'm literally just sitting there, and be like, what did I just watch? Like, like that me when that girl's like, I bet he's probably cheated on me. I want to be like that guy. I'd be like, oh my god, one division. That's how I want to be like that guy sitting on the bed like that. <laughs> I just want to be like that. I need to be like that. <laughs> That's a video. I bet he cheating on me with some hoe. We in the room watching Wanda the gym like, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But see, we just, we just mainly only talk about the ending. We're not like really talking about like the rest of the, the rest of the episode. We're just talking about the ending. And that's it. Like I think that was all, the whole point of this episode was like, okay, we're gonna build Agatha. I'm like, okay, that's cool and all, but like we could have done a better job throughout the episode. Even that, like I said, even that the conversation between Monica and Wanda, I'm like, okay, oh, cool, you got your powers. But okay, like, so like, <laughs> you're just, so like, Monica, you're just gonna let, you're just gonna let Agnes just walk away with, with, uh, with, uh, Wanda like that? Like, just, I mean, I, I don't understand you gotta get Darcy, but it's like, you, you, you're just gonna let her, like, walk away like that? Like, well, you, well, you said it though. I mean, they have to give you stuff, like, slowly but surely. And I think that, you know, with the the whole ending of this, that out there, like, all right, enough playing around. This is who this person is because they're starting to wrap it up. So it's kind of like it's the building point to that. So yeah, Monica, that obviously followed them to the house. And then you saw at the end of the episode, um, Pietro is kind of like, you know, like, are you like snooping around? Like, so did he kidnap her? Did he knock her out? You know, is he with Agatha pretty much still under her mind control? And, you know, Pietro is a villain too inside of this show. Um, you also have Vision, who's who is going to Wanda as well. So he's looking for her. So I think it's a whole lot of like these last two episodes, like wrapping it up, whether or not, you know, what happens to what happens to you know vision like is vision going to be able to leave um or is he trapped in this place forever because they did mention that he's the only person that couldn't leave obviously because of his situation but is it kind of one of those things where um this is pretty much where she's just going to completely lose him forever um and then center on her path or you know like is she going to be a part of um agatha's team because Agatha may be holding her kids against her. She obviously, she did something with her mind, her eyeballs that obviously like she's, yeah. you know, uh, it seemed like she was like mind controlling Wanda, but you don't know because it kind of went to a different, you know, scene after that happened. So there's definitely a lot of questions that still have to be answered in the next, you know, couple episodes. But, uh, you know, I also did want to point out, too, because uh, me and Rachel have been kind of like looking at the commercials on um, each episode and how, you know, just how Wanda and her character, everything always pertains to her and how it said, like, you know, the world doesn't re- revolve around you. Yeah. Um, and I like how it was like kind of like the, the traditional um, commercials we see now with like Nexium or whatever it is. And it's like <laughs> yeah. all these symptoms and. And it's kind of like, yeah, like regardless of like how it ends, like just the creativity behind like everything they did to the show, like to relate to, um, you know, just today and also to like all the TV shows that they 
you know, reference with all each episode. I, I think that um, while the girls playing her, you know, it just shows her range, mm-hmm. you know, as far as her acting skills, you know, to in this episode be like Modern Family and, you know, The Office, like she was funny. Like there was just a couple of scenes like where I was like laughing, like oh, yeah. because, mm-hmm. you know, when the milk was changing and like she like sniffs the cereal. It's like those little references, like this, like did the milk spoil? Like you know what I mean? Like <laughs> it was, it was funny. Like I'm like, this is great. So, um, I, I don't. I'm curious to see if they're going to continue with like the different TV shows in these next two episodes, or yeah, is it just going to be? I think it's it, I think now. it ended at that point. I think, I think since it, it caught up to like modern times, yeah, I think it's times, like, so, yeah. and now that like things are like unraveling now. Because but now was like probably snap out of it. I think it's now just gonna be like wrapping it up and like the last showdown type thing. It's not gonna be based around the show anymore. Yeah, because everything also, was starting to glitch. Yeah, yeah, everything was starting to glitch. I was also wondering when we see Agatha, is that really her true form? I mean, I just I, don't know, I just get feeling that yo like she might be like older, like a very old, like she's been around for a long, long time. But I just don't feel so like. That's her real form. She might be some older lady or whatever. Just, just, just thought. Just I think it's her real form. What's up? Yeah, which is can he said he thinks it's her real form. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, yeah, we're just gonna take any form, you know, because Agatha is, you know, an older lady, older lady. But then again, MCU does their own thing. I mean, hell, they made um, Aunt Aunt May like you know. Middle-aged woman, God. not like, not like, not like old, old. I was like, oh, well, I mean, shit. she is an aunt. She's not a grandma, so there. I don't know why they made her super ancient in the original Spider-Man, anyway. Yeah, because when you say we but, hear aunt, you're thinking like, okay, like middle-aged, but like not grandma. But hey, you know, oh man, you got a problem right now. So I was, I was, they, I was picked, they picked a good actress to play Agatha. I love her. Let me, let me look at, let me look at her name right now, man. Like I like her. Yeah, she did I, a good job. I, I know Elizabeth Olsen, the one who plays Wanda, only because she's one of the Olsen sisters. Yeah. Yeah. I thought, I thought that too, yeah. yeah, that messed me up. I was like, damn, she do look like them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She's the only one that's like, you know, not with the, you know, the shit. Yeah. Tweaked the hell out. Mm-hmm. She went to Marvel I mean, and never looked back. She, I mean, she joined, she joined um, acting and everything at the right age. Very. I mean, the Olsons, were, the Olsons were in the acting career, like when they were like babies. babies. That's why I feel so like that '80s episode. I feel it was always like paying homage to them because they started with Full House, like that started like late '80s, early '90s. So like, I think it's you know paying just, uh, homage to their sisters how they started, how they had their um, acting debut. By the way, it's Catherine Hahn that plays uh Agnes. Catherine Hahn. Yeah. I love her. She's been in the game I just for a long her, time, mainly because. Uh... She was Doc Ock and Into the Spider Verse. Yeah, she already <laughs> has it down. Mm-hmm. She was what? She was Doc Ock and uh, Spider Verse. The female Doctor Octavius. I didn't know that. Liz. Oh, I say what? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Oh shit! Really? I found that out yesterday, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! I was like, I love her even more now. Damn. Shit, sexy well, ass. Her. I mean, hey. <laughs> shout out to her though. And like, you know, at the same time though, I do hope I can take her seriously. I do love her as an actress, but like I don't want her to be like, hey, that fun no, be serious with this girl. Like, be like that, yo, you that bitch. Like, I don't want to be like of all the respect. It's like, yo, you that bill. Like, I say she's a little bit of a comic comedian sometimes, but like I want to actually be like be fearful over like let's take this shit like very seriously. I think I think that if this does go into where I'm predicting it'll go to with one uh with the second Doctor Strange movie, she will be because she's definitely gonna be in, in that shit. And she's not gonna be there for no games. Like if if they're going with the story that I think they're going with, it's either gonna end extremely sad or Wanda's gonna alter the entire year. Mm. It's it, it's hard, yo, because if, if you're bringing her and Doctor Strange together, 
That's I have dangerous. a feeling it's going to be one of those deals where it's like, in order for Wanda to save everybody, she has to realize that she has to let Vision go, and it's going to be sad. And yeah, sad yeah. Thing, you know, or or yeah. let everything go, including the kids. Because mm-hmm. yeah, because she she does kill Ag, she does kill Agatha when it's like, what, what do you do with my kids? Like, what do you do with my kids? So it's either, you know, pretty much the breaking point is you know between Vision and the kids at this point. Yeah. That's gonna be her. That's gonna be her breaking point. Somebody on YouTube was saying, "Well, the only thing that could give Wanda the edge in this whole show is the fact that since in the MCU, Wanda's uh, magic is derived from the Mind Stone. Since it is an Infinity Stone, that'll be the only thing that gives her the edge, apparently. And it'll be like, oh, Vision will always be with you. Like, oh God, here we go." Mm. I mean, I would like to see Vision come back, but it's like the, the story between them is like, okay, I get it now, but it's like, you know, I'm a little bit You old can't old. bang your sex toy. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, yeah, I think that was the meme when it's like, you know, when Wanda's like, you took everything from me, and, and, and it was like, Tony Stark killed your parents. You come after me because you I killed your sex toy? Bitch, be crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that <laughs> meme. But yeah, man, like, like I said, like everything's just talking about the ended, and that's it. Like that was highlight of episode seven. Everything else, okay, that's cool and all, but Agatha, oh hey, where you been all this time? Finally, you were like, like it was a surprise. Everyone knew that. But what's funny is that I think comicbook.com was an article saying, Oh, I guess uh Agatha's not the villain after all. We, a week later, uh, bang, Marvel got you. Cause I think after the whole oh, car. Because after, after the whole car scene, they're like, oh, maybe she's the villain after all. Well, which I did say, you know, I was. I'm like, I don't know if she's a villain yet. But when I'm like, I'm like okay, wait a second. This week, you felt differently. Now, this week, you're like feeling like this way. I'm like, okay, something's up. So, I mean, that pretty much answered it for me. But, you know, I'm uh, very curious how it's going to end, as all, as we all are. So, well, like I said, my, my whole thing is what's her end game? What's her, what, like, what is she, you know, what's her goal? Like, what is, what's her, Planning all, Mephisto, like you said, um, which I think, if we see if, if we see Mephisto in this show, it's, it's a while. Wow, you want to talk about Derek Bunsen in the shit? I'm uh, I'm trying to give it PG, but I'll, I'll I won't say anything. I won't say anything. I'm gonna bust <laughs> about five. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Keep, we're keeping it. We're gonna. We're keeping I mean, it, we're I guess we're uh, raw. We're raw on this shit. We're raw. F the kids, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck them kids. <laughs> them kids. I mean, her. I mean, her. Uh, would you say, like, I hope that she takes it real serious. Her tone did change when she did expose herself, though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like she, she kind of switched up, bro. She kind of me. Um, I think the only part where they made it a little like funny and cutesy or whatever was when like they showed her like you know that she's been yeah. a part of it the entire time or was hurting that with everything it's been yeah, yeah, yeah. all along <laughs> that, that <laughs> whole thing I'm sorry that I mean my reaction for now I wasn't all like oh man like you know what I mean like, I was just like okay I love her, ex- her expression much. I love her expression the song the song my god the song kind of annoyed me but Damn, the end it was the best part. And I killed Sparky too. <laughs> and I killed Sparky. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Uh-huh. She said, she said. And we I got killed the Sparky too. <laughs> <laughs> I said, yo, I love her. Fuck that dog. I don't give a I shit. About a dog. Like that. <laughs> that, uh, no, there was a you meme that had. Weird. What's up, Rachel? No, I was gonna say, do you think it was a little weird that like she almost wanted Wanda to find out who she was because she like specifically said that the kids are like, oh, they're probably playing in the basement to like make Wanda go down there. I think the timing, like, it could be the timing too. I think it makes you thought, okay, this is the perfect time to reveal myself because clearly, yeah, what you said, like when she goes down there, she's gonna find out everything that's going on. So I think it's it's just the timing of when you know she was you know trying to play this all out. And Waiting for the perfect Vision's opportunity. Gone. Vision's gone, and um, what's her name? Monica Rambeau and them are gone too. So it's like perfect opportunity. 
we're not gone, gone. My fellow slow vision will probably find them. Like, hey, what's going on? You know, and you know what? Maybe he'll be maybe too we'll, late. It could be. You know, honestly, I'll be a little bit surprised. Which I mean, I won't care what will happen. I'm like, I'll be surprised that there's actually like no fighting scene whatsoever. That'll be like kind of different. I'm like it's like no. Off. That'll be like no action scene whatsoever. It's like, god damn, y'all want a well, full show about like any action? Like, I think like, that'd be a waste though if they show that like Monica turned into what's her like hero name? Botan. Yeah. Botan, yeah. Um, there that'd be like a waste of there wasn't any some sort of fight because it's like the why bother having her turn to Photon now? Wow. She wasn't gonna like stand up to them at the end. Like, I thought we were gonna say that more that and uh, and uh. And um, Captain Marvel too, but we only saw a glimpse of it here. I'm, I mean, I would love to see a big witch fight between Wanda and uh, Agatha. That would be pretty dope. That would be a dope ass fight, unless that, unless that's the fight that's gonna like fuck reality up right there. Doctor Strange twos for that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's true. Well, well a, pr- like a pre, like a pre stancher of that. I have a feeling it's going to be a Vision and Monica versus. Agatha to save Wanda because like uh-huh. you saw that she had her eyes going kind of purpley at the end as if she's like going to be under Ag- Agatha's um, control Monica. of some sort or like at least phased out where she's not really like aware of anything so they'd be like we have to save her now yeah <laughs> yeah it almost seems, it almost seems like Agatha's like was plotting like you said to trap uh, Wanda at some point like she she needed her vulnerable at some point um just from the the when she was looking at her from uh the window when she was talking to monica and she butted in like right away because i think that she was like okay she's trying to help her and she's trying to get her out like i don't want her to you know snap out of you know into reality and you know start thinking good thoughts like i want her to keep this poor little keep everything that's going on and I think like she's trying to recruit you know Wanda you know for a time period you know and I think that's going to lead up to um the movie well like in the comics is there a reason why Agatha like needs Wanda to do something because I'm just thinking like if we go back to like our original theories of like Agatha created this bubble originally to like kind of trap Wanda in there and then Wanda kind of just like went with the flow because like she was like I'm happy here because I have everything I want and it's like, but if I Agatha know. like created it in the beginning to like purposely have her there it's like, like what would she benefit from that well that's what that's why I, I said I don't, that's why I said when um Pietro asked how would you do it so I think she created a world and I think you know somehow I I, don't, I, I just don't think Agnes, Agnes did it when she asked how would you do it you know what I'm saying? Like, if she asks that question, how'd you do it? It's like, she wants to know, I guess, wants to know more about Wanda's powers. Like, maybe that's why she's been holding her, at, like, looking at the whole time, like, studying her powers, possibly. I and mean, plus, you know, she's been, I, Wanda's been doing her powers right in front of Agatha. <laughs> like, yeah. like, no, like, like, taking no precaution whatsoever. But I just wonder, like, what she gets out of it, though. Like, what's the whole point of her that, that, going along with this? And- that's the question. Yeah, that's the question we're all answering. Like, what's her, what, I said, what's her endgame? What's her goal? Like, that's a they, they went kind of, they went kind of full metal alchemist with this whole thing, you know. <laughs> at, least, it, it, at least by the equivalent exchange thing, right? You know, you can't bring something back without nothing. So the same thing goes for Pietro. Like, I don't think he was created. I think Agatha just pulled his ass up from out of somewhere else and put him under her control. So same thing with Vision. She she probably told Wanda, like, you, yeah, you got his body, but even I can't bring him back because he wasn't even human to begin with. And maybe that's when Wanda snapped and everything just turned into what it is. Now, Agnes, being the person she is, Wanda's above her, and she knows that. But she's probably just trying to get information. Like like Pietro said, how'd you do this? That, that's definitely coming from Agnes. Yeah. It's definitely coming from her. Mm-hmm. So it it's a lot. Hopefully they can pull put it all together. Hopefully. Because uh, 
I'm not gonna be sitting here waiting for months for the next Doctor Strange movie. Nah, I think I think the next episode has to at least reveal how Wanda at least created the world. Like we just can't learn yeah, that in really. the final episode. Like, don't give me that in the final episode. Give me it now. So on episode eight, we got two more episodes. <laughs> then we can get to the action. Then we can see the action. Yeah. This episode just, might be a flashback. Oh God, God you're so. right. <laughs> You know uh, how it all started because now it's not going to be. Well, we don't really know, but if they don't go with like different, you know, uh, television, like kind of eras, like maybe this is the one now where how did it all begin? Like, how did it start now that we know who, you know, now that they reveal um, Ag- Agnes's uh, character? Mm-hmm. You're right. Flashback. Yeah. We're, we're definitely heavy in flashback territory. <laughs> But normally with their flashbacks, eh, yeah, it's, it's gonna be a flashback. But it's like the whole episode because they're gonna have, they're probably gonna reveal some maybe current time, eh, maybe not, maybe not towards the end over the current time. But I think majority might be you know a flashback as you said. Like now is like now is the time to do it. Don't do episode yeah. nine. Do it episode eight. <laughs> But you know, we'll see. But also, but also because we're when they do it, when the, my bad, when I was when Agnes does go ahead. No, you, I, I was gonna say, we're also forgetting about Mr. Dick. They're gonna launch today, so we're gonna do like a launch missile. So, like, as much as I don't care about him, let's not forget about him too. Like, he, he's gonna do some shit too. So, maybe it might be, maybe it might be a big thing, maybe it might be a small thing, but like, we shouldn't be forgetting about him too because I think right now. We're paying, We're all paying attention to Agnes. Let's not forget about that dude. So he might come up. He unless he's up. really, unless he's just a dick. Like he's just typical. I just want to have someone to blame for something to make it easy and call it done. Like unless he's just like a typical douche. Like and he's not actually involved in anything. Like. <laughs> oh yeah, he, he is, man. I just want to punch him in the face. Like when I say, I'm like, yeah, can I just punch you, please? Like, I just want to punch him. I'm well, we have to. Away. Well, we have to think about. We got to think about civil war. You know, you have people on the side of things that said like, we don't like these heroes like having powers that we can't mm-hmm. control. And you know, he may be on that that idea that he was trying to bring back Vision for his own purposes. And then you know, Wanda, where her strong power is, but it in, you know, stole away from him, and now he has a grudge. First of all, he was never like. It, 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 he was vision was never yours to begin with. It, it was never yours to begin with. So you're just mad, like, oh god, you still she she stole my toy. He stole my toy, mommy. Stole my toy. He's a, he's a little spoiled brat. Stop, but, stop but blaming which, Donald which, Trump for everything. But which part of the spectrum was vision on in Civil War? He, he was he was for Civil the, War. He was on. He was, he, he was, pro he was on Iron Man. Team. Yeah, he he, reg- he registered. Okay, so maybe that gave them the right to take his body because, you know, initially he's he's the government's weapon in that situation, right? So then they're like, we have his body and we want to revive him. They're doing the his same, mind or whatever. Yeah, they're doing then, the same shit with a uh, uh, Buck Falcon and a Winter Soldier. The government took Captain America's shield from um Falcon. <laughs> but is it the same motherfucker that says, well? Uh, Wanda brought back Vision when well, you know he didn't want to be brought back. Motherfucker, you, you're doing the same thing! You're, you're trying to bring him back! So, <laughs> make it make sense, people! Make it make sense! He's just crazy. What do you mean in uh, Winter... The, with, uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier? What do you mean they took the shield? Because in the trailers, aren't they using the shield? Yeah, but not for long. They give it to uh, the new Captain America. I already... Unfortunately, I've got all the plugs for this stuff, but uh, oh lord, they they give it to this dude who is basically U.S. Patriot, and they're basically oh his. yeah that that young kid oh yeah a little Captain America Junior or whatever yeah that dude. yeah they basically they from a different dimension no, never mind. they're not gonna mention them I, I know about it because I saw him in a trailer when he was running on the football field yo so sad, he, uh, okay. gave the, yeah gave the okay. dude a high five. He had yeah. the, he had the uh, star on his back, but the star had an A in it, and that's that's his. 
Yeah. That's his joint. I was like, oh. Yeah, I, mean, I forgot oh. about that. Dude. I forgot about that, dude. Yeah. So, yeah, I-, I can see I can see that at the beginning of the series that Falcon and the Winter Soldier could be, like, messing with the shield, but then the government's going to be like, if you want it, you got to be our guy, but they're going to say no. Because you know the well, majority of the trailer, you see Falcon just being Falcon. You, you rarely see him with the shield. The only show him throw that shield now is that. That scene was hot. Yeah, but I do like. I don't. I don't mean to change the subject, but I do like. I think I'm gonna love. You know, the chemistry between Falcon and uh, what's the soldier? They're gonna be like, oh, I can't stand you. Can't stand you either. Like it's gonna be a big brotherly love type of shit. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, but, but yeah, uh, Wandavision. Wandavision. I mean, Agnes, man. Like that's all. That's all you can really say at this point. What's your end game? That's all anybody can say. Well, what, what what are you doing here? Like, what, what do you get all, out of all of this? That's all Shit's about to go down. Damn, it better go down. Like I said, the ending. I'm I'm waiting for that ending. I'm just waiting for that ending. I'm waiting to be. I'm waiting to be like I can't sleep for days. I can't sleep for weeks. I can't sleep for months. The ending got me so hyped, bro. It got me really hyped. That would be a tomorrow. I mean, Marvel's not really known for dropping the ball for endings, really, in my in my opinion. Nope. Like, especially yeah. if it's something that's going to lead up to something else that they have later on. Um, yeah, I think the finale is probably going to be something, you know, pretty big. That's probably It's probably going to be something that is going to have you thinking for, like, quite some time. Like, damn, like, I really want to know what's going to happen. But we also have to be grateful, too, because normally when these, when these type of movies end, we had to wait for a long time. Technically, we had to wait for another wait for a year for Doctor Strange, but we're gonna get another Marvel show in like two weeks. So like, yep. they're giving us something, you know, like, hey, we know you're gonna be waiting for one of us, but like, hey, Falcon and Winter is gonna be as Jason's good too. And remember, originally that was supposed to be the first um, Marvel show. So due to COVID, I made that fuck everything up. So now we're gonna get that show. So I think they're, they're you know. They're giving us a lot more so than we know, than what we normally get because 2020 didn't get anything. 2021, if you want Disney Plus, now it's time to get it because now here's the full course meal. Right after and why the Falcon and Winter yeah. Soldier we get Loki, and why right after that we had, we get What If. Then later on, I think we get uh, Miss Marvel, which I'm a Miss Marvel fan. I'm iffy on that show though. I'm not gonna front. I'm a little bit nervous for that show, but you know we won't get into that for you know for my heart gets. To continue to cry, so uh, just like I said, we just focus on WandaVision, then Captain Falcon and Winter Soldier, you know, uh, Loki, which I think Loki's gonna be confused as fuck, but it's gonna be good. It's going to be insanity. Because that's true. I even watch that trailer, I'm like, wait, what's going on right now? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I think this might be our shortest podcast ever because, like I said, we're just only talking about the ending. We're not talking about anything about the episode, just the ending. Yeah, unfortunately, there's not, uh, not about. much to talk about. I want more Agatha. <laughs> yeah. I, wrote, I wrote down my notes and I'm like, okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. Nothing really Agatha. is like. Nothing's that's re- it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, that's it. Like, I can't think of anything else. I mean, it wasn't really that many hidden gems in this episode, though. It was pretty See, straightforward. Here, here's the problem. Monica Rambeau's contact was bullshit. We all thought it was going to be Reed Richards or somebody big like that, and it wasn't. That oh, was yeah. a letdown. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah it, I it never was, expected I, that to actually be anything, though. I feel like... I, did, I, it. I wanted it to... Um, Somebody, you had your hopes up. Yeah, really. You had your hopes up. Also, did you guys? Re- the reason why is because she kept saying it. Like, she said it like a couple times, like, "Oh, I have somebody. Right, that's gonna get me in. I have like this contact. That's and the reason I why it was like a build up. Armored truck into yeah. the damn hex. Yeah, it was stupid. Yeah, I don't know if you <laughs> noticed when when uh when Monica and Wanda were arguing. The one neighbor that I was speaking was was that same blonde hair na- uh, neighbor that was like you know the big woman around there. I forgot her name. 
it was the other girl that didn't have you know her her name on the um uh, on the uh list of people that they list? found. Yeah, it's that same lady from like episode two that was like, was well, episode two? Yeah, it was like oh. Her blood was on her hand and whatnot. So I think it was that same lady. Which I mean, I don't think the man anything, but I'm like, hey, that's her guy. We you don't know. We still don't know her name though. So <laughs> mm-hmm. plot holes, bunch of plot holes, plot holes. Mm-hmm. And Darcy, good for them. and Darcy, and Dar- like I said, and Darcy Vision. That was just you know about like two minutes. He just leaves her in the, in the truck. But I'm like, oh, okay. Well, uh, bye, Darcy. Yeah, you had you had your five minutes of fame or whatever. <laughs> but she'll, I like, she'll get more screen time. Well, apparently, apparently, Marvel hasn't like. Well, maybe she could be lying, but she said that uh, Marvel has not interacted with forever. You know, past WandaVision. Because I would like to see Darcy come back again. The the, the MCU uses their actors. She'll hear from me. Yeah. <laughs> there's say there's to me about like. Um, Agent Wu and Darcy X Files type of shit. <laughs> That'll be a cool series. Yeah. Would be interesting. Would be interesting. I'm interested. I am interested to know, like, why is there like a selective group that's um, catered around Wanda and Vision? Like, you know, the certain neighbors that like interact yeah. with her more so than. The other puppets that are around town that are like frozen in time, like they have a significance to me. Like I don't know if they're like. I kind of just think of it as like kind of like a video game. Like they're just the other people are just random filling NPCs. characters, like NPCs, and the other people are actual like interactive characters. That's important. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> you only get to, that would have been a cool feature in the show if they went and spoke to somebody outside of town and they said the same thing every time and they were like what, yeah. is, what is that like like a yeah. menu like a menu dialogue <laughs> like damn that would have been cool damn that would have cool yeah. it's okay jumanji already did it <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh good movie I never, I never saw the real, the uh, the remake of that. Don't. Mm. I mean, the first one's like it's kind of funny, but if you if you're expecting it to be anything like the original one, you're gonna be disappointed. No, no, absolutely not. <laughs> Kevin Hart's Kevin Hart. The Rock is The Rock. The only person who actually tried was Jack Black. <laughs> I like Jack Black. I love Jack Black. But it just was not working out for him. But before we, that was it, good. Yeah. <laughs> but before we head out, um, Rach, I don't know if you I don't know if you saw this, mm. but what do y'all think about the Mortal Kombat trailer before we head up out of here? <laughs> oh, don't you get me started. Don't you get me started. The fatalities look cool. Oh, no, I will give it. you that. Who the, the fuck is cold? Yeah, I know. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I was like, yo, who, who this dude right here? They gotta add, they gotta throw in some rando to know what Mortal Kombat is. And then it's gonna reveal all the original characters, and you're just gonna be like, "Damn, that's that's pretty cool." No, you can't. No, don't do like the original and have fucking Liu Kang be the main person. And you know they gotta they gotta they gotta change it up a little bit. The first one was See? good though. The first Mortal Kombat movie was actually good. Like I would say, it was one of the best video game movies ever. It was way better than freaking Street Fighter. I will kick Bison's ass. See, hold up. Yo, that was trash. I've been thinking about this for years. If I ever got to do a Mortal Kombat movie and I had to pick someone who made it, you know who I pick? Johnny Cage. Why? He he Hollywood. He's an actor. He's trying to prove that he really can fight and really can do all this shit. And, and they come to him and they're like, okay, well, yeah. show us in this tournament. And then, then he finds out that all of this shit going on around him is yeah, that would have been a better. Well, he always seemed like the clown to me, though. Yeah, but eventually, I mean, if you pay attention to the Mortal Kombat series, he becomes very likable. He, he becomes does. a very serious character. And 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 in all honesty, I like Johnny Cage because when the game ends, the very first one, I didn't know this, but when he goes back to Hollywood, he writes a movie and calls it Mortal Kombat. <laughs> 
I was like, oh my God, that would have been a lit freaking movie. Because then at the end of the movie, it would be like him on set, like, cut. Like, yeah. What is this? Like mm-hmm. that, that would have been funny to me. Yeah. Betcha, did you say that? Trailer? I don't know. Uh, no, because like, I don't know. I, I know obviously of Mortal Kombat, but I'd never played it or got into those games or movies mm. or anything. So, no opinion. Yeah. <laughs> the, vit- the fatalities look, look dope. I will give you that. The fatalities look dope. But I'm just like, I I'm feel just, like, uh, I feel like the trailer know. didn't show everything. It did. Well, yeah, yeah. As it shouldn't. As it shouldn't. I don't want to see all that stuff. Because we, we have my. We got the two girl. Yeah. And then the movie's coming out very soon. It's coming out in like two months. So April 16th. I'm I'll definitely see it. I feel as though if you make a, like, a, a t- big... what, what's up, Anthony? I'm just gonna say my excitement about this because when I texted you and you were just like it's Anthony kind of, I was like, I was a little upset <laughs> because we had talked about that little short little snippet they had showed for HBO Max. <laughs> Of uh, Sub Zero, like yeah, you know, making did. his sword, and we were like, "Oh, we don't want a disappointment." But after I saw the trailer, I was like, "Hmm, they might actually have done a good job on this because it almost looks like the original, but just turned up a little bit as far Better as acting. the effects, the effects, yeah. the acting. Effects. I mean, the and Scorpion. Yes. I'm already hyped. Yeah. I'm, I mean, like, I'm not gonna lie. When he took when he took away Jax's arm, I was like, "Oh, I, like I said, I was like, oh shit, we going there right now. We going there right now.' <laughs> like, listen, the and it looked look like lit. and it looked like frostbite. It looked like frostbite. Yeah, <laughs> that looked painful. Yeah, very painful. All I know is that no matter what it is, whether I'm a fan or not, is that so far Hollywood doesn't have a good track record of uh turning video games into movies. So yo, the <laughs> only they're not yo, really saying it. The only good video game movie, like well, I'm not gonna say the only good one. There's only been two of them. The Sonic movie was good. Like I will say this. The, oh, was it? I thought it was good. I thought it was pretty decent. Like oh boy, because here we go. If you if <laughs> I, I, so, 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 like shout out to the fans because originally Sonic looked trash. The oh, original. Oh god, that was nightmare fuel. That was that was Night- terrible. <laughs> So shout out to the fans for making it sound better. Like, I thought it was okay. I thought it wasn't no greatest movie, but like, I think it's pretty decent. Then you had Jim Carrey playing Dr. Eggman. Yeah, I'm sold on that shit. Like, that was the good. only thing I like. <laughs> the only thing you liked? I didn't make it. Pa- I didn't make it past the beginning. Oh shit! I might have. I might. I might go back to watch it, but I couldn't make it past the beginning. It was too I- like. I don't know. Well, clearly, Bubbly. You know, clearly, it's a the plot. The the story was trash. Like the story was. What do you trash. really expect out of a Sonic movie, though? Right. <laughs> like yeah, yeah. yeah like you're, I'm not, not, you're not getting like a you're not getting a serious movie. You're getting a. Uh, I want to see how, how Sonic. I want to see how Sonic is the speed and shit like that, and how Doctor Eggman is. You know, and I was I was satisfied. Now I have I have not seen the um. The uh, the Detective Pikachu movie. I'm like, oh, that was crap. It was bad. <laughs> the the story was so dumb. Well, you were we. I mean, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not expecting a good story from that. I want to say, oh, well, I just think the whole um, the the twist. If you're gonna watch it, I'm not gonna spoil it. But the twist at the end was just really, really like it was just. Now this, now book. this, no wait, now this is coming from the Nintendo hater, right? You're you're doing it as a, a basic fan review, like a basic review, like no 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 Nintendo hate involved, right, Rachel? I, I just want to make sure there's no Nintendo hate involved. Wait, what? Right? Like that you're reviewing? No. For, okay, like because I, 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 <laughs> I didn't. I'm not one of those people that like watched. Like I know of Pokemon because I like yeah. obviously I like watched some of the cartoon when I was younger on TV and like my, me and my sister collected the cards just because we didn't play it we just liked the characters on them yeah. but and we had all the and they were cute so like of course we thought they were adorable but um Pikachu. but i never like watched the show religiously or like the movies but like so just looking at this peak detective pikachu movie from like 
just an outside source looking at the plot and looking at like it looked the promising. story. It was like so. Di- eh. Like you it never looked- watched any of the movies? No. Oh my god. The only one I like, I think I've watched them as a kid, but like I don't remember them because I haven't watched them since I was little. So like I know bits and like clips of it, but like I don't remember like the whole detail of the movie. Like I gotta say the That's first, fair. the first. The first yeah. Pokemon movie was hyped as hell. You go to the theater, you, too. You, 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 you get a Pokemon card. <laughs> when Ash turned to stone, I was crying like a little bitch. Okay. But, that, but, that, but that's the... But that was an animated one, though. Yeah, it was lit, yeah. We talking about the live action. We, we, we ain't going there. But yeah, I, think the the fact that you, I think the fact that you had, like, Ryan Reynolds voice the picture, you're like, okay, this could potentially work. But no, nah, I, I, I didn't no. hear anything about the movie. No, no. It was basically no. them just trying to put his comedic thing of like basically Deadpool but his Pikachu, right. but it it made mm. no sense to the like, it made no sense. And Man, then I blunt. that's that's when they lost me is when Ryan Reynolds was playing Pikachu. That's when they lost me for that movie. I was then the it, ending it, of like the reasoning behind of him being able to talk and like that is the dumbest thing ever. All right, Here, here's okay. If I can watch it before our next podcast, I will talk about <laughs> uh, what I thought about it and I'd be like, oh, okay, well, I'll let you know. Even I'll, the I'll, I'll villain, you, you even thoughts. the villain was like weak sauce. Weak sauce. <laughs> I okay. could have with my alakazam. Okay, so then has there has there been any good Video game movies, movies that you guys like because so far my favorites were the first Mortal Kombat movie. Like I thought that was a pretty Need decent movie. What's up? Need for Speed was awesome. They made a movie about mm-hmm. that. Yeah, mm-hmm. actually, it was shockingly good because you can make a story out of anything. It's racing. <laughs> I, I just, I just think the original Mortal Kombat movie deserves more credit. I'm not saying it's the greatest movie. But like it was, it was not bad. What's up? It was great. Okay, okay. you missed me, Before, baby. I mean, for movies, I mean, I mean, movies back then, the the special effects that they had back then, yeah. Mortal Kombat One was like the best. It was like it, video it game movie art. to me. It was and art bro, back then. And, bro, and, and the actor that played Shang Tsum, like he was a dope, like dope <laughs> actor. Like, bro, he they brought he him back good. in Mortal. Yeah, they brought him back in Mortal Kombat 11. It was a... Right. Like, Your soul is mine. That was a, that was a, cla- that was a classic school I mean, right there. I mean, me and my cousins, when we were younger, we used to reenact like the Scorpion and Giant. Like, <laughs> no, like reenact. Like, Do you want to do the split, too? I'm, not now. <laughs> Let's be honest here. Yeah. You know, you kind of like did like a semi split. Like, yeah, you thought you were doing a split. It was one of those kind of situations. Yeah. And then bang. But yeah, like, you know, the backflips, all that kind of stuff. We were fake it, you know? Yeah. But so, it was official. But I posted a the meme. I posted a meme. Worst superhero, worst video game movie you ever seen. And it was like, it was Mortal Kombat Annihilation. And it was like, I'll wait. Everyone's posted like, Mario Brothers, that was terrible. Street Fighter, that was terrible. <laughs> like, there's a list of bad <laughs> video game movies that we go on okay, for like hours up. and hours. What's up? Remember, since you remember the old game, you remember Armageddon, right? Wait, you talking about the movie Armageddon? The games, the Mortal Kombat. Oh, games. Mortal Kombat, Armageddon, yeah, yeah. At the end of Armageddon, when you see all of the heroes and all of the bad guys fighting and killing each other, trying to get that fire place yeah that god that god power and it was just raiden and shao khan left yeah that's where i would have started the mortal Kombat movie off from because mm. like the game raiden had to rewrite time to fix everything that would be a nice little jumping off point because then you see all the characters kill each other yeah, that'd be too that'd be yeah, that'd be a hot last, opener yeah that's true but any last words before i had them out of here because I'm hungry as hell because I came from work. I'm like, hey, gotta start recording. <laughs> I'm gonna be hungry after I smoke a blunt. <laughs> you get the munchies right after that. I think it's a game. I, I think it's a game. game. I, I think it's a game. I mean, 
I don't I don't smoke, but like I know y'all get the munchies every time y'all after hmm? you smoke the blunt. <laughs> the only thing saving my coworkers. <laughs> I don't, know how, I don't know how I'm supposed to take that. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, well, as long as you're not a coworker. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm glad I'm not your coworker then. Shit. I'm an asshole at work. Well, with that being said, I can't wait for Mortal Kombat to come out. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> and I... Hey, first right there. Shit. Everybody froze. I can't wait for the ones are like meant to wait, 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 wait. and I'm just like wait. repeat what y'all said because y'all froze for a second. Repeat that again, my bad. Y'all froze for a second. No, we're talking about mentally being done with WandaVision because of the thought process and everything that you know. Yeah. Is I'm, happening. Tired of, I'm tired of asking questions. <laughs> just give, just I'm already it. uh I'm already waiting for Winter Soldier, Falcon, and the behind the scenes <laughs> stuff for WandaVision. I want, I'm like more interested in like how they created the behind the scenes of the show yeah, now yeah, versus yeah. like actually knowing the ending. I'm kind of like, eh, damn. I'm, I'm, <laughs> like, how do you do it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Damn, Rachel's a hard critic, isn't she? <laughs> well, I think it's just because this episode was so flat compared to all the other episodes that I'm yeah. now kind of just like, I don't know, not bored, but I'm like, all right, we already know like that she's they revealed she's the villain. There's like there's not like so much left to be looking like mm-hmm. looking into, I feel like. So it's kinda like, eh, I'm kinda like done with it already. I'm like, I'm excited to see how it ends, but at the same time I'm like, give me <laughs> Falcon and Winter Soldier. <laughs> well 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 devil well, you know I'm gonna be doing episodes on that, so like you know you know that's happening, right? Like I hope y'all know that. Sure. Like we'll, we'll, we'll be doing episodes on, on Falcon and Falcon and Winter Soldier. Like, don't think we're just just, just don't think we're just doing WandaVision now. We're doing we're doing other shit. Like, damn, that's doing, a new all, record. We're, doing, we're doing all the Marvel shit. <laughs> this 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 this, uh, this is how we build our popularity. <laughs> it's how we get people to know yeah, us. No, no, I'm I'm loving the uh, Winter Soldier and Falcon show with the uh, aerodynamics I see. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. The flying, the flying looks pretty official. Yeah, and I then like when he jumped into the plane and used the wings as a shield, I was like, Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, I'm hoping, like I said, I'm happy, it. you know, like I'm happy that these shows are giving like the side characters, if you want to say that, whatever, some shine. Because yeah, I'd like Falcon, but like he didn't get the shine as everyone else did. He's like, oh, he's just he's just a motherfucker, the black guy in a in a, in a jumpsuit. Or <laughs> I'm a nigga that can fly. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Hey, at least he's still, you know, being able to do his job, unlike Rhodey, who's, you know, now paralyzed and... Damn, don't say that. <laughs> Damn, Wait, man. what? Wait, what? <laughs> Rhodey, she said, she said at least he, uh, Falcon can do his job, unlike Rhodey, he's still pretty much paralyzed. <laughs> He got cyber. He got cyber legs. He's a cyber. He got yeah. cyber. Legs. Well, no. Okay. Not to change the subject. Number at the end. But they did Rhodey so wrong in any game. Dirty. Like they did him dirty. They did the mother. They did the black guy dirty. Man, he was just in the suit. He had no action scene whatsoever. Y'all did him so dirty. Like the it's okay. Don channel. It's okay. The Don. It wasn't his. It wasn't his movie. <laughs> <laughs> did anyone else, but did anyone really care about his character, though? Let's be honest. I kind of do because he's from Philly, but that's about it. I got I like, like, a, I like I, the I, cartoon. I like the cartoon version. Yeah, because in the movies they, they didn't really a lot better. In the movies, they didn't really give you like any deeper character other than just like, oh, he works with Tony Stark and he flies right. the other. Suit. He's the black guy in the Iron Man suit. That's it. This is they get in the Iron Man suit. That's it. That's why. That's why I like. I'm like, but yo, I want to see my brothers, my brothers and sisters succeed. He, he's like, you're just there. The only, the only thing that you did in that game was like you knocked out Star Lord, and that's it. Like in the comic book, in in the comic books, he takes over Iron Man's place because Iron Man falls into being an alcoholic again. But other than that, 
Rhodey, yeah, Rhodey doesn't really have too much depth outside of he has another Iron Man suit that can fly just like Tony Stark. That's, that's it. Maybe his show, maybe his Marvel show will do him justice. If they give I him a show. That. They're, they're, if, no, if they he's, give... Yeah, they're, no, he's have a show. It was part of Marvel lineup when, like, you know, Tony Stark's um, uh, adventures go get into the wrong hands. Like, he's, he stars in that show. Nice. Nice. That's what's up. Because in the comic book, he becomes the president of the United States at one point. I would like to see that. I don't know. I'm not interested in that show. <laughs> <laughs> like, like when it comes to characters, like I am team Cap crew all the way. Like oh, Bucky, okay. Bucky and Sam are gonna be my boys. Like they're my they're they're okay. kind of dude. I their chemistry between those dudes. I'm I I can't wait for the like. You even seen it in Civil War. It's like you could have done that earlier. I hate you. I that hate was you. the start. That was the start <laughs> of it. That was Can the start you, of it. Who, can you move your stuff? No. Oh, that was yeah, no. No. You're like the brotherhood between that shit, man. And plus, people will be like, "Hey, remember, Cap gave Falcon the shield, so don't, 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 don't be sleeping on Falcon, all right? Don't sleep on Falcon. I, love, I fuck with Falcon. All right. So as always, guys, it's always been a pleasure hanging out with you guys. Like I said, you're on my team now, so unless unless somebody can't 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 join. Then we'll go out them, but like, yo, if it's not one of you, if, if it's not all you guys, you know, fuck it, we ain't doing it. Loyalty is everything to me. We'll have to see how uh, my schedule goes in the next month or two because I'm gonna be moving soon, so gonna have a lot of weekends of packing, painting, and stuff. So yeah, <laughs> have to uh, work around that, but I'll make sure I'll get in. So. You still you still moving in, in New Jersey? Yes, yeah. I'm literally only moving like ten minutes away to like the next town over. But <laughs> <laughs> that's good. <laughs> so, so, like, any final words before I take a shower and eat dinner because I'm hungry as hell right now? No, I'm good. I'm good. Mm-hmm. All right, then, folks. Thank you guys for listening to us. I said we're a bit we're, we're a bit late on this, but you know. Everyone has different schedules, so don't just like be like, "Oh my God, why y'all take so long?" Well, we have we have our own schedules, you know. Like real life, you know, real life still still applies to our daily lives. It's not like we're getting paid for this shit, because I would like to get paid for this shit, but it's not like we're getting paid for this shit. So you know, take our time, you know, huh? live our life. So. Huh? <laughs> Eric's like, "Come on, end the end it." <laughs> right? He's like trying to light it. Derek, like, let's go. <laughs> all, right, all right, well, I'm gonna take care. I get to this boat real fast. So, everybody, y'all have a good night. As Jay Cole said, there's no such thing as a life greater than yours. Y'all take care, everybody. I'll let Derek get to this point. <laughs> I'm gonna take two hits and pass the hell out. <laughs> all right, peace out, everybody. Have a good night. Peace all right, y'all. See y'all. See y'all. <laughs>